Ever wondered about the immense contribution of Lala Lajpat Rai to India's freedom struggle? This man, revered as the Lion of Punjab, was an instrumental figure in India's fight for independence from British rule. Born in 1865, Lala Lajpat Rai's early life was steeped in an atmosphere of national pride and devotion to the motherland. His moniker, the Lion of Punjab, was not a title lightly earned, it was a testament to his fierce spirit, unwavering resolve, and tireless dedication to the cause of Indian independence. His life and work are a study in courage, resilience, and the power of unyielding conviction. From humble beginnings to becoming one of the most prominent leaders in the Indian National Congress, Rai's journey is a narrative of relentless struggle and indomitable spirit. Without further ado, let's delve into the journey of this legendary freedom fighter. Born into a family of scholars, Rai's early years were marked by the pursuit of education. Lala Lajpat Rai, or as he's affectionately known, Punjab Kasari, was born on the 28th of January 1865, in the Punjabi village of Dudike. From an early age, Rai was imbued with the spirit of learning, thanks to his erudite family. His father, a government schoolteacher, believed in the power of education and instilled the same values in young Rai. This environment fostered in him a deep thirst for knowledge, propelling him to delve into the world of books and learning. Rai's formal education began in his birthplace, Punjab. He later moved to Lahore for higher studies attending the esteemed Government College University. It was during these formative years that Rai's intellect began to shine, his passion for learning evident in his voracious reading and keen interest in diverse subjects. After completing his education in Lahore, Rai decided to pursue law, a field that held great promise and prestige. He traveled to Allahabad, a city known for its rich legal tradition, to study law. His time in Allahabad was transformative, shaping him into a skilled and eloquent lawyer. Rai's affinity for debate and his ability to articulate complex ideas with clarity and conviction made him a standout in his chosen field. Upon completing his law studies, Rai returned to Lahore and set up his legal practice. His early career as a lawyer was marked by his dedication to justice and his unwavering commitment to his clients. His reputation as a competent and principled lawyer quickly grew, attracting clients from far and wide. Yet Rai was not just a lawyer, he was a thinker, a reformer, and above all, a patriot. His legal career provided him with a platform to voice his thoughts, to challenge injustice, and to advocate for the rights of his fellow Indians. But it was not long before Rai found his true calling, the fight for India's freedom. As we'll see in the next scene, Rai's life took a dramatic turn, steering him towards a path that would forever etch his name in the annals of Indian history. The year 1888 marked a turning point in Rai's life, as he stepped into the political arena. As the wave of nationalism was swelling across the subcontinent, Lala Lajpat Rai, a young lawyer from Punjab, decided to devote himself to the cause of India's freedom. He joined the Indian National Congress, a platform that was gradually becoming the voice of the Indian people against the British rule. Rai didn't just join the Congress, he infused it with a new vigor, a new energy. His fiery speeches and his ability to connect with the masses made him a popular leader in no time. But Rai's contribution wasn't limited to just delivering speeches and leading protests. He had a vision for a self-reliant India, an India that wouldn't need to depend on the British for its economic needs. With this vision in mind, Rai played a pivotal role in the formation of the Punjab National Bank in 1894. The bank was part of Rai's larger plan to promote indigenous industries and to challenge the economic dominance of the British. As the years rolled on, Rai's commitment to the freedom struggle only grew stronger. He became a staunch advocate of the Swadeshi movement, a movement that encouraged Indians to use goods made in India and to boycott British products. Rai's impassioned appeals to the people to adopt Swadeshi had a profound impact. From the villages of Punjab to the bustling streets of Calcutta, people began to understand the power of Swadeshi. It was a peaceful yet powerful protest against the British rule. But Rai's fight for freedom was far from over. His journey, filled with countless struggles and sacrifices, was just beginning. He was ready to face whatever came his way, all for the love of his motherland. He was, after all, the Lion of Punjab. His roar was just getting louder. But Rai's fight for freedom was far from over. With the passage of the infamous Rowlett Act, Rai's revolutionary activities took a new turn. This act, passed in 1919, essentially allowed the British authorities to imprison any Indian suspect without trial a move that was seen as a blatant disregard for basic human rights. Rai, ever the champion for justice, could not stand idly by. 
he rallied against the Rolat Act with fervor, leading peaceful protests and using his influence to spread awareness. Rai's eloquence and passion resonated with the masses, and his protests soon gained momentum. Yet his actions did not go unnoticed by the British authorities. Inevitably, Rai's vehement opposition to the Rolette Act led to his imprisonment. Yet, even behind bars, Rai's spirit remained unbroken. His resolve only strengthened, and he became more determined to fight for India's freedom. Rai's imprisonment served to fuel the fire of rebellion, not just within himself, but among his fellow countrymen as well. Upon his release, Rai didn't miss a beat. He jumped right back into the fray, this time as a key figure in the non-cooperation movement. This was a nationwide campaign initiated by Mahatma Gandhi, aiming to resist British rule through non-violent means. Rai, with his unwavering dedication to the cause, played a crucial role in the movement. He advocated for peaceful protests, boycotts, and strikes, urging Indians to stand up against their oppressors. Despite the harsh realities of his imprisonment, Rai's revolutionary spirit remained undeterred. He continued to fight, to resist, and to strive for a free India. His courage inspired many, his words ignited the spark of rebellion, and his actions laid the groundwork for the eventual freedom of India. Rai's relentless fight for freedom however came at a great cost. Yet, it's a cost he was willing to pay for the love of his country, for the hope of freedom, and for the dream of an independent India. In the end it was his indomitable spirit and unwavering commitment to the cause that etched his name in the annals of India's struggle for independence. In 1928 Rai's life was tragically cut short during a protest against the Simon Commission. This commission, an all-British panel, was set up to review India's constitutional progress without any Indian representation. Rai, alongside his fellow patriots fiercely opposed this blatant disregard for Indian voices. During a peaceful protest in Lahore, Rai was brutally lathy charged by the police. Despite being severely injured his spirit remained unbroken. He rose, dusted himself off and continued to lead the protest with unyielding determination. It was in this moment of profound resilience that Rai uttered his famous words, every blow aimed at me as a nail in the coffin of British imperialism. These words echo through time, a testament to Rai's unwavering commitment to the cause of Indian independence. Each blow he received, each bruise he bore, was not just an assault on him, but an attack on the oppressive regime that sought to keep India under its thumb. His courage in the face of adversity was emblematic of the indomitable spirit of the Indian freedom struggle. Sadly, Rai's injuries from the brutal police action were severe. He passed away less than a month later, a martyr to the cause he so passionately championed. His death sent shockwaves throughout India, sparking an uproar against the British rule. It was a tragic end to a life dedicated to the pursuit of freedom and justice. Yet Rai's legacy lives on, inspiring millions to stand up for their rights. His fearless commitment to the cause of freedom, his unwavering belief in the power of peaceful protest, and his resolute stand against oppression continue to resonate with us today. Rai, the Lion of Punjab, remains a beacon of courage and resilience, embodying the spirit of resistance and the relentless pursuit of justice. His life and his sacrifice continue to inspire generations, reminding us that every voice matters, and every act of resistance no matter how small can contribute to the larger fight for freedom. Yet Rai's legacy lives on, inspiring millions to stand up for their rights. Lala Lajpat Rai's life was a testament to his indomitable spirit and love for his nation. A lion in the truest sense, Rai roared in the face of adversity, unyielding in his pursuit of India's freedom. His early years steeped in education and enlightenment prepared him for the pivotal role he was to play in India's struggle for freedom. Rai's entry into the freedom struggle was marked by unwavering determination and courage. His revolutionary activities even under the shadow of imprisonment highlighted his indomitable spirit. He was a beacon of hope, a symbol of resistance, inspiring millions with his tenacity and resolve. Yet it was his tragic end that left an indelible mark on the nation's psyche, a martyr's death that spurred a nation to rise to fight to claim what was rightfully theirs. His legacy, etched in the annals of Indian history, continues to inspire generations. In the words of Rai himself, the blow that hurled me to death has uplifted the nation to life. Indeed Rai's sacrifice will forever be etched in the annals of Indian history.